So today I'm going to go through the wire plan system. Traditionally, this is how a wire plan system would be piped. You've got your boiler, you've got your flow going up through the pump. You get to one valve, wire plan valve, so you've got your hot water that way, heating that way. There'll be port A and port B. I always remember port B, B for bath is for hot water, and then A for radiators. It goes around your circuit, returns. Your hot water return is always the last one back to stop any radiators getting hot when they shouldn't be. This is generally how it's piped. Um, I'll do some in-depth on the wiring now. So this is a general wiring diagram for a wire plan system. Fully wired. Um, it can look a bit too much, I think, with the cables everywhere. So I've done my own drawing of this to try and simplify it. And then it makes it easier for testing and stuff because some of the wires are there and they're important in their own way, but to fault find you don't really need them. So we'll have a look at my drawings next. So wire plan wire and sequence switch lives only. So these are the important things. This is how um, you know you get your heating on. So you click your programmer heating on. It then sends power to your room stat. If you're calling for heat it passes through and goes to the white wire on the zone valve that motor should motor over click the micro switch goes back on your orange your orange and then it fires your boiler and your pump I am drawing your pump um, so this is a real simple version of it so I mean if you were fault finding, if you were testing here and you had 240 on white, then you've already proved your program in your room started doing what they should do. If you're not getting power on your orange, then it's the micro switch, so you'd need to change the head. You know, if you were getting you tested on your white and you weren't getting 240, I would then go to the back side of the room stat. So are you getting power at your room stat? If you are, then your program is okay and it's your room stat fault. And then you can literally apply that. To all the components so now I'm going to go through the wire plan wire and sequence for hot water on so it's a little bit different this drawing as you can see the wire plan valve isn't even isn't even involved so you got your programmer you click your hot water on it goes up to your cylinder stat you want some hot water if it's cooling it'll make the switch and then it will send power to your boiler to fire your boiler so it's, bit, it's a bit different with hot water on a wire plan because you have your hot water on and then your hot water off. So I'll go through your hot water off in a minute. Um, but that's where it differs from an S plan. So the S plan doesn't need hot water off. It, it literally shuts when there's no power on it. Um, but with, with wire plans, it's different. So, you know, for fault finding again, it's still the same thing. You go to no hot water, you get there. If you've got power to the boiler on the live return, no, you haven't, so you track it back. Do you have power to your cylinder stat? We well, have power going to it, but you don't have power going through it, so you need to change your cylinder stat. Have you got power going to the cylinder stat? No, we we'll change the programmer. So you can make break breakdowns and fault finding as simple, as simple as you want to, really. I think sometimes people overcomplicate it, but when you've got it drawn out like this in front of you, hopefully this will help, help it stick in your head a little better. So to me, the hot water off side of things is what complicated it the most for me on a wire plan system because on the drawings where there's cables everywhere I was kind of like why is there a live wire on the cylinder stat and the grey and, and here it makes it a little bit simpler so you've got your programmer when you turn hot water off on the programmer that then sends power to your cylinder stat on number two and then it also sends it to the grey on your zone valve so the grey is to keep the hot water port shut. But the reason you're getting 240 is cylinder stat, which is what used to confuse me, is because it's almost being backfed. This is all one cable. So when you have hot water on, and obviously the live disappears off this, what happens is when the cylinder stat is satisfied, it takes it off the call for the boiler and it drops it onto this live which lives it up for the grey to shut the zone valve off when you're satisfied for hot water so hopefully i've explained that how how i think of it um 
but that's why it used to confuse me because in testing even when hot water was on sometimes i was getting 240 on this gray and going back and i was thinking why but it's because obviously when your cylinder stack gets satisfied it stops firing the boiler and it transfers the 240 onto this to shut the zone valve off so that so obviously you're not getting hot water now but then it also back feeds up the hot water off side of the port so if you were to test over here you'd be getting 240 volts and if you're not sure of how this works it can it can just complicate things which it did for me for quite a while until I finally got my head around it I hope I hope this has helped another white pan system calling for hot water 240 on iron supply the boiler nothing on grey turn the cylinder sat down we should get nothing on orange the 240 on grey we get on 240 on white 240 on orange, nothing is.